Welcome friends, I'm Will Whitfield with W3 Productions. Today we're going over how to bring in animations of your DAS character into Blender 3D using the DAS importer. Basically in the past, I've shown how you can bring your character into uh, Blender with the DAS importer, but we couldn't really bring in animations using the same tool. Um, but in other videos, we showed how we can do that with the FBX file import method. But then the problem with that was that the materials weren't as good as using the DAS importer version. So personally, I have been using a mixture of both, uh, using the FBX file import and then switching materials over from a copy of the DAS importer. Then I realized recently, after some comments with some of the followers of the channel that you can actually just um, use the import pose um, options in the DAS importer to import your options. So we're going to go over that today. I'm using a Genesis 8 female character to, um, to start off. I'm actually going to use another character. I'm using this one to animate and then we're going to actually bring imp import those animations to another character in Blender. So here we have a Genesis 8 female. I'm going to use some animations that I have in DAS Studio. And by going to my content library, I'm going to go to, let's see, poses. I have, just happen to have some animations that I got from DAS Store. Although this is any, basically any animation that you can do in DAS Studio, we're going to be able to do in Blender. The ones that I have problems with, just as a caveat, if you're doing your animations using the Anablox or Animate 1 or 2, those have um, very weird results if you try to use this method to bring them into Blender. So basically anything that is keyframed to begin with will should work when you bring it into Blender 3D. So I'm going to take about two of these animations and make and make, make them into one animation. So let's say uh, have her give directions, I guess. OK, we'll do that. It's going to be longer than our 30 frames. It's going to expand our scene. Turn off limits. Okay, so we have about 720 frames of animation. So here she is giving directions. I'm gonna go to the end here and find something else. Um, let's see. Just adding another animation to make this kind of more custom animation just to prove the point. Uh, very animated conversation. Let's try that one. And some of these may take a while because it's a lot of keyframes. I think this would take it over 2000. Mm, took it over almost to 2000. So we go from giving animations to having a very, uh, animated conversation. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this as a pose preset. So go to save as pose preset. I'm going to call it long convo. This is something I did named before. I'm going to overwrite in my case, but you just make a new file and save it. I'm just telling me that I'm overwriting. Make sure that you check animated range and do the you know the full range of what you want to copy over. If you leave the default of current frame only, you will only have that static pose, which is probably why it didn't work for me before. Hit accept. It pretty it should save that pretty quickly. And now I could just use the same character in Blender, but I'm not. I'm just going to use another character just to show that your animation and your character could be totally different. 
So here we have another Genesis 8 character based on Lila. And that's what we're going to call her. So all I'm going to do with her in Dad Studio, because she has no animation, all I'm going to do with her is basically save, which I had before, but and then export. So I'm using the Daz exporter or Daz importer version 1.5. So I should have made note of that earlier. Version 1.5. Not sure how this works with earlier versions. Um, in 1.5, instead of going to File and you know export to Blender or export JSON or whatever it was before. They tell you it recommended that you go to um, your library and go to scripts and go to Diffeomorphic and then choose export Blender there. It does about the same thing. It's exporting a DBZ file. It's no longer doing a JSON file, but a DBZ file once you get to version 1.5. So that should take a few moments. All right, the file is saved. Remember where you saved your presets and also where you saved your character. Now I need to go to Blender. Let's go to Blender. Delete the default cube. Open up the DAS importer. Import DAS file. Let's go to where I, my scenes, that's where I save my character. Um, leave this on DBZ JSON. You could do BSDF or principled. I'm going to leave it on principled for right now. In a few moments, our character should load. I'm just giving a warning um, that the importer automatically updates your scene to support the um, lighting and uh, materials settings. So nothing serious right there. Okay, I'm going to do some of my regular setup. Um, first thing I always do is go to the character in the outliner and expand and select every armature, holding control, selecting each one, selecting the main armature last, going to corrections and clicking on merge rigs so that each piece of the character is now parented to one armature. And now these are just meshes by themselves. All right. And now we're done with corrections. Um, if your animation uh, happened to have uh, like talking or something like that or expressions, this one didn't. Um, it may be recommended that you go ahead and import those facial units and expressions not sure it was absolutely necessary but it probably won't hurt and it allows for more customization um in one case i you know had a talking animation but i forgot to make them smile so i went ahead and imported expressions and then keyframe the smile in the first or zero keyframe zero frame so they it would import my talking animation with a smiling expression throughout because that smile was keyframed throughout. So it doesn't hurt to import those. So to do what we need to do, we just go down to the posing menu, import action, go to where you saved your pose presets and I believe I called this long convo because it will take a while to import. So we'll be back when that finishes. All right, so we are now back and our character is now animated. Let me move the timeline up a little bit, scroll out and just scrubbing. Let's take the visibility of the armature out. We can see giving directions. We move further down the timeline. 
She becomes more animated with her conversation, moving around, flailing her, flailing her arms, things like that. And we would, if we were animated this whole scene, we would make it like 1700 frames. So there you have it. That is how you would um, use the DAS importer and import your animations with your character. Um, basically two different steps, import your character and use the pose action. It no longer just does static poses, but full animation. So that is pretty awesome. Um, I think that still gives it a step up over the DAS to Blender Bridge as far as that and also for file resources as well. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, leave some comments down below. Always remember to like the video and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Have a blessed day.